Welcome back to Latin Nation. So we like to cover the wild and wackier side of sports on this show, and nothing is wackier than Red Bull's flug tag. Every year in select cities around the world, Red Bull brings together teams of people competing to see whose primitive flying machines can fly farthest when launched off a ramp into the ocean. Now this year, a team of engineering students from East Los Angeles College got the invite to launch their vehicle, and we had our special correspondent, BMX champ Coco Zorita, there to support them. Check this out, and take it away, Coco. And Acción, brought to you by the U.S. Army. They're strong, then there's Army strong. I'm Coco Zurita from Santiago, Chile, living here in California. And here we are supporting the Red Rock Clovers for the Red Bull Flu Tag. Red Bull Flu Tag is a competition that's sponsored by Red Bull, uh, where teams build a homemade aircraft that they're going to test to see if it flies. It's got to be human power. You also can't use any type of like catapult, uh, nothing stored, no coils, springs. Some of the other regulations are weight capacity, it's 400 pounds with the pilot. And then there's also size requirements, which is 10 feet high, uh, 28 feet wide, and then 20 feet from nose to tail. I'm really like mind blow right now looking at you guys' design and how many things you guys have to get involved. We're all engineering students, so everybody can contribute something and everybody has something to, to add to the, the design and to the construction. How does it feel just to be part of like the select group of people that's invited to this event? It's a lot of fun, man. You know, um, it's, um, it's exciting. I know thousands of people apply every year to participate. We're one of 30 and Long wow. Beach, and I think only 150 in the whole country get to participate. Wow. So the fact that we got we got to do it this year is exciting. We're proud of uh, you know our academic background. We learned a lot at East Los Angeles College, wow. and we figured this is an opportunity to show, you know, to put it in practice and see get if we some can. Some love back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Make sure we can kind of test our own abilities and see if what we learned is true. What's up, Long Beach? Are you guys ready for a little flute talk? When I saw these guys taking off, I was very nervous, you know, I was sh sharing for them. I saw their crap, it looked great. Their outfits were so funny. I knew there was gonna be a great show. When we got to the top of the hill, it's exciting to see all the people that, you know, came out for this event. And also, you know, at a distance, we can see all our friends and family that came out to support us. As you're running down the, um, you know, the runway, you really can't believe that it. it's a like culmination of all the hard work, you know? I did feel the airplane lift um, a lot, way sooner than what I expected. As soon as I felt to tilt left, I just told myself to hold on and hope for the best on the way down. We were expecting to fly, man. We were, we were definitely expecting not to crash and burn. Fortunately, we crashed. So we're definitely going to regroup and um, try to come up with something better for next year, but we're definitely interested in doing it again. It didn't quite work out well as we expected it. It made me real nervous. I saw somebody was about to get hurt. I was like, hold on one second. This is going bad. No, it's going good. No, it's going bad. Some people might call it a fail, but for us, it's a win just to be able to make it out here, you know, create a craft like they did, and then just be able to do a good show for the crowd. It was awesome. So for us, that's a goal. And definitely, I encourage you guys to come back next year, check out the Full Talk 2014, and come hang out and have a good time. I'll see you guys soon.